Our first question will come from the line of Keith Schilling. Your line is now live. Uh, hey, Aaron, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, Aaron, um, you went against a really tough guy, good good record, got a good win, uh, but you just showed that there's levels this, and you, you just ran right through him. Uh, where would you rank this win compared to your other wins? Um, uh, to be honest with you, I don't even rank, I'm not even ranking it. I'm just, um, like they always say, just, I'm just enjoying the process. I'm just happy that I got the submission. That's the most important thing. I mean, I've had five knockouts, but to add a submission to my, to my, uh, win column is, is good. So, uh, I'm not going to really be too fixated on the win. I'm just in, enjoying the process and ultimately trying to get to become a world champion. So no, it's good. I feel good, but, um, that was, um, like 10 minutes ago. So now we're on to the next one. All right. You said you're you're on your way to becoming a world champion. I mean, how far away do you think you are until you become a world champion? Um, well, to be honest with you, I always feel I can be a world champion. I feel I can be a world champion today. But is it the smartest thing to do to fight for a world championship? Probably not. So I, I'm just going to just keep progressing as a fighter and, and, and listen to my coaches and, and manager. And um, when God wills it, God wills it. So I'm just going to keep getting, getting better. <laughs> Uh, last question for me. I know you spoke about how transition from the body lock to Jackson Wink, uh, but let's talk about AJ McKee. He's gone on record saying that he would never fight you. Would, would you ever fight him? No, no. I, honestly, I've gone on record before saying that I wouldn't fight AJ McKee. I mean, the thing is, is I've, they are family. Like my dad and, and his dad, or my dad and Antonio talk all the time. They actually talk a couple times a week and uh, they are family. And um, I, I'm wishing him nothing but the, but the best to win this tournament. I hope he wins this tournament. But uh, no, I, I grew I grew up with him. He'd spend the night at my house. We'd have barbecues together. And fighting is just a small piece of a uh, piece of our lives. And uh, I, I won't fight him. I won't. And and to be honest with you, I I, I think that he's gonna probably go up to 155 soon. That's not that's he didn't say that, but he's actually he, he's never told me that specifically. But he's pretty big, so we'll see. But I but back to your question, no, I don't I don't I don't want to fight him. I don't want to. All right, our next question goes to Giancarlo Alino. Your line is now live. Hi, Aaron. Congrats on the win. Uh, you look great out there tonight. Uh, you know, you've had your fair share of ups and downs in your young MMA career. Was there anything you changed in the pre-fight preparation or in your training camp that allowed you to be more calm out there? What, what was the last question? That allowed you to be more uh, calm? Uh, no, no, nothing that I really uh, changed. Uh, pre-fight prep I just um, just listen to my to my body listening to the coaches and uh, and just training smart I've got a very very good uh, strength and conditioning coach Sam Calavito who has a great nutrition program for me that I follow very uh, follow religiously and and I think just a combination of great training s smart coaches and uh, a healthy living st uh, healthy living is gonna is gonna do uh, a lot for my career yeah, and uh, final question for me. Uh, you know, you mentioned that you can be a world champion now. You looked great like you uh, showed out there. Uh, you've been in featherweight with this whole Grand Prix going on. There's a lot of uncertainty there when that will pick up. Is lightweight maybe something you'd want another crack at? You, like, uh, you haven't been there since your debut. Would you like to fight at lightweight again? Lightweight? Uh, to be honest with you, no. I, 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 don't, I think I'm very, very small. or Not very, very small for lightweight, but uh, I usually walk around like 164, 165. So to go one, one, lightweight would be kind of, uh, I think I'd be very, very small. Um, maybe like in a few years, yes. But as of right now, I, I make weight really, really easy. And I just, I, back to your question, no, I, I don't see myself at lightweight. Yeah. Thank you. All right, our next question comes from Kevin Verghese. Your line is now live. Hey, Aaron, big fan. Congrats on the win. Uh, as you uh, showed in today's win, uh, you showcased your jujitsu with the uh, rear naked choke win. How good does it feel to show everybody, hey, I have jujitsu, I'm not re heavily relying on my hands? Uh, it feels good. It feels good because I really love jujitsu and grappling. And uh, one thing about just submitting somebody is you don't really, especially in the first round, you, you don't really have any bumps or bruises or uh, broken hands or anything like that. So I, I uh, got out of the fight very, very healthy. And uh, it's good. It's good to be uh, to get a submission win for sure. 
Our next question comes from Randall Folks. Your line is live. Hey, Aaron, great performance, man. Uh, my first question for you is, you know, it looks like you barely broke a sweat in there. Did everything go according to plan? Uh, I think, yeah, first round submission, no bumps or bruises. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't ask for a better performance. For sure, it did go to according to plan. And then is it safe to say that you've taken your game to the next level since joining Jackson Wink? Oh, yeah, absolutely, for sure. I've, uh, I've, I felt so calm coming into today. Of course, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. If, um, but I just knew I, I had a, an answer for everything. I put a lot of work in in MMA. It's not just one, just straight boxing, not grappling. It's learning how to fight. And I feel like I, my cage awareness, my grappling, um, is starting to come together. So uh, back to your question, yeah, I feel like I've progressed as a fighter since joining JW. Absolutely. Next question comes from John Polai. Your line is live. Hi, Aaron. Uh, first off, congratulations on the win. Um, so I, I want to start with right from the get-go, you came out, you got that early takedown. Was that the game plan coming into this fight that you wanted to shoot in and get that early takedown? Uh, no, that wasn't the game plan. Honestly, the game plan was just to, to just relax in there and just let the fight happen and, and not get too fixated on one thing. You know, the one thing that Coach Greg Jackson tells me is don't, put in your mind like I have to get the takedown I have to get the knockdown just use your skills be smart and when you see an opening execute and, and that's what I did yeah and like you said there that you you said that you were calm in there and and that's what I noticed too when I was watching your fight it seemed that you were very calm cool uh collected and and calculated out there is, is that something that you were trying to do when you were coming into this fight and uh did you feel that you were calm in there or, or did you have some nerves yeah, yeah, I felt I felt I was very, very calm. I didn't, you know, I kind of let him throw the few, the first punches, and then we're just kind of feeling it, feeling his uh, timing out. And um, yeah, yeah. But to answer your question, yeah, I was trying to, I was just trying to be calm and let the fight happen. All right, Aaron. This is the last thing uh, for me here. Earlier in the week, we spoke at a virtual media day. You said that you wanted to fight two more times this year, given how quickly uh, your performance was tonight. Just how quick of a turnaround do you want uh, to get back inside of the Bellator cage again? Um, I'm going to leave that to my manager, Ali, and uh, hopefully we can get back in, uh, back in the cage and get two more fights, God willing. All right, we'll have two more questions. Next one from Matthew Putterman. Your line is live. Hey, Aaron, just a quick question for you. Hey, I just obviously your fight, I saw that you are drawing a cross on your chest. Are you, are you a religious guy at all? Like when you get your win, I always yeah, see. Yeah, I, I, I am, a, I am a, a very religious. Uh, I'm a devout c Catholic, and um, but yeah, I, I keep it very, very private. I'm, I'm very open. I've read, I, I, I respect all religions. I have a lot of Muslim friends. I've actually, I've actually read the Quran, and and uh, but I am, but I am Catholic, and uh, I haven't, I don't really talk about it much because I think it's just kind of uh, my private thing, but uh, I, I have a deep respect for every religion. And, and uh, yeah, that's that. I kind of just stay to myself with that. And our last question comes from Andrew Benjamin. Your line is live. Hey, Aaron, congrats on the win. I got to ask, how do you plan to celebrate uh, your first victory by submission and just this win in general? Uh, yeah. Honestly, I'm just going to go back to the hotel room with my coaches and, and chill and, and get some food. And, and uh, we have an early flight at 4.30. Uh, or I have to be reported in the lobby at 4.30 and then a flight at 7 and just get back home, ride my horses, and, and just carry on. Um, I, I, I just did my job tonight. I clocked in and, and uh, did, was, did what I was supposed to do, and, and now I just go home. I go home. Oh, <laughs>